Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Building upon the second highest year on record for export sales, Missouri is gaining even more momentum in selling its products in foreign markets. According to the latest figures, Missouri exports through the third quarter of 2015 totaled $10.1 billion, an increase of 2.3% from the same period last year. And with sales of just over $2.1 billion, the transportation sector was the highest grossing sector for export sales during the quarter. Leading the transportation sector's export sales total is motor vehicles, with $932 million in exports last quarter. And this industry isn't just experiencing export growth. Automotive manufacturing is revving up all over the show-me state. As demand for these products heats up, auto manufacturers and suppliers have invested $2 billion into growing Missouri's capacity to produce these products, providing a significant boost to the statewide economy. Since 2010, more than 60 automotive suppliers have added or announced plans to add more than 4,600 new jobs, retain 220 existing workers, and make more than $613 million in capital investments. And one Missouri program is streamlining and expediting the training process for these new hires. As the state's premier company training program, Missouri Works Training provides personalized recruitment services and flexible training solutions to make sure Missouri workers stay ahead of the pack. Already this year, training assistance has been deployed to more than 320 Missouri businesses, helping train more than 39,000 workers. And these efforts have led to national recognition, with Business Facilities Magazine recently naming Missouri, the number seven best state for workforce training. Three Missouri communities have been awarded funding from the Delta Regional Authority to spur local economic development, increase workforce training to benefit area businesses, and create new jobs. Recipients include the Ozark Small Business Incubator in West Plains, which will renovate a large portion of its facility to create room for new offices and 29 new jobs, the Advanced Manufacturing Training Center in West Plains, which will convert a new building into a manufacturing training space for high school graduates and dislocated workers, and the St. James Industrial Park, which will make infrastructure improvements to pave the way for cone architectural woodworking to create even more new jobs. In this week's tech news, Governor Jay Nixon last week announced the award of $1 million in state funding to ARCH grants to support the St. Louis organization's valuable resources and services for local entrepreneurs. ARCH grants accelerate state economic development by providing $50,000 grants to entrepreneurs to relocate to the city. And the program has attracted startups from around the country to create local jobs, including Chris Motley with Better Weekdays, which was recently highlighted as part of the White House Tech High initiative, Abby Cohen and Andrew Breimer of Sparrow Labs, who just pitched at the White House's first demo day, and Betsy Four with Wondermento, who was named as one of the 30 under 30 in manufacturing by Forbes in 2015. And that is Missouri Business Today. For the full news coverage, visit MissouriBusinessToday.com.